evolve your game and get a $100 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. And now we are joined on the line by the winning trainer, oh, Christoph Clement. Christoph Clement, first hey, of all, Christophe. congratulations to all of us from TVG. That was a very, very courageous win for Tonalist. He, he has really jumped up as a three-year-old. He had one start at two. Did you know after his start late in his two-year-old campaign that this was going to be a rather later developing three-year-old? Absolutely. He was bred to be a late developing three-year-old, and he's built like a late developing three-year-old. So we knew it was going to be a nice shot. I just didn't know it was going to be quite that good. So. And, and Christoph, those that were saying, oh, you know, he took advantage of the sloppy track in the Peter Pan, it's going to be 82, sunny, a fast track at Belmont, that didn't bother you going, going into the race, did you? I mean, you, you knew obviously that he was much more than a horse that took advantage of a sloppy racetrack, you know, in the early part of May. Yeah, correct. I thought he ran two pretty good races at Gulfstream on the fast track, so I was pretty comfortable with that. You were one of only two horses in the field yesterday that it had only had four prior starts, so your horse is just now hitting his best stride at a point when many of these other three-year-olds are ready for a long rest. Uh, what, do you, what do you foresee for the, the campaign going forward for, for Tonalist? Well, I'm not sure. I'll have to speak to Mr. Evans. At the moment, you know, we're trying to enjoy the balance. Um, you know, of course, we'll keep him eligible to the major three old racers, mm -hmm. i.e. Askel or Travers. But, um, you know, we can just um, can wait a little bit and we will find a way to get there. Were you comfortable with the, the trip that you received early on? Because a lot of, oh, Tonalist was why, but you were in a nice spot, too, weren't you? A couple paths off the rail, sitting to the outside of horses that maybe weren't quite as comfortable to Tonalist inside? Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, you know, we drew the 11, so um, obviously he had to be on, on the outside. Unfortunately, that's the way it was. So even if he did have a wide trip, he did have a very good trip being wide. And, uh, you know, I think it was fifth or sixth ring to the first turn. And then Joel gradually moved him up to the third position, but very close to the leaders. And uh, that was my only instruction before the race, and he agreed with me, was just to keep the horse comfortable. You know, not, there's no point to make it too complicated. He's a very big horse. He's got a huge stride. Wherever he can, you know, the way to ride him in all his races would be just to keep him at his own rhythm, regardless of the pace of the race. Just uh, uh, you, you cannot change his style of racing. Yeah. Did, did did you figure the pace was going to be relatively slow? I mean, I mean, the, the, we've we've had slower half miles to the bell. We've had 50, 51 type halves, but 48 and four, not particularly quick. Did you figure that, that you'd be kind of sitting off the lead? You probably didn't think he'd be sitting off of Commissioner though, who was kind of by himself for a while. Yeah, no, I agree. And I was, um, I mean, I always thought he was going to be pretty close to the pace. Um, you know, I, I looked quickly this morning. I was looking at the 20, 30 last Belmont just to compare his time compared to everybody else. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, it's an average time. It's not slow, but not fast. It's like uh, more or less in the middle. Um, I mean, you know, he won. I'm delighted with it. And uh, we go from there. We've been joined on the line by trainer Christophe Clement, whose tonalist won yesterday's Belmont Stakes. Christophe, thank you very much for taking a couple of minutes here on TVG. Congratulations, and we Great look job. forward to tonalist uh, for the rest of this campaign. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emily. All right, Christophe Clement. Yeah, I think that he Great had trainer a, he, is. he had a, a, a coaching club American Oaks winning Philly, but this may be only his second. Uh, grade one win on dirt. We know him as a turf trainer, yeah. but he's, he generally is a guy that just knows what to do with a good horse.